Hey, hey, so look, we are completely out of paper towels and napkins. We have plenty of those. So Caleb, you want to go make a run? I'll tell you, you think these Class A folks would have all the supplies, but apparently the Airstream people are just bailing them out. Hey, here's what's happening. What? All the Airstream people keep coming over. <laughs> Don't, don't turn this around on us. Well, don't turn happened. this around. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> I see what you did. They all see. Now and then, if it's we're running on a satellite, running out of time. How about just inviting yourself over to someone's grill? That's all right. We're providing all the paper towels. Oh, yeah. All so the paper many plates. Hey, baby. I've been thinking of. When's the last time you legitimately had to use one? I legitimately had to use one the summer after my freshman year in high school. Legitimately. The last time I used a payphone, Trish, I was changing. <laughs> that was a Superman joke. <laughs> okay, that's good. There you go. That's good. You have a variety? Look, this is, is something, this is something you never show Victoria. You ready? Oh. <laughs> This is a Miles family. You already know Reed. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because we went to Mackinac. Well, because Reed is, went to Mackinac Island. Yeah, we went to Mackinac Island yeah, yeah, yeah. together. Yes. And the, Mile, and the Miles family. Who a we, year ago today. Did you know that, Trish? One really? year, year ago, ago today. today. See, I told you. Was in was Tennessee. Tennessee. Yep. That we have, look at this. There were no other sites anywhere, and we ended up getting sites back to back next to each other. It was meant to be. Do you think it was that much of a coincidence? But really, most of the RV parks are starting to shut down. Like, you were out of options. Use that little grill to prop your camera here to watch how you're gonna grab that. It's a Tony Let's Robbins go, conference. Let's go, Mark. Let's go, Mark. <laughs> Firewalker. Fire <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, you're doing it, Caleb? Yeah. This <laughs> So what's happening here is, um. Dean says that these stoves, these solo stoves, eliminate smoke. And he says, you know those things that eliminate smoke? They're like engineered to eliminate smoke? And I said, I have no, no idea what you're talking about. He goes, yeah, you know, they're like, and I said, the solo stove? And he goes, yeah, they don't smoke. And I'm like, I've never seen that. Like, if these things don't smoke, then they should be advertising them. I just thought they were cool little fire pits. So we do need something that has fire. I mean, I do agree with you. It needs fire to not smoke, right? That's correct. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So let's get one that's on fire. And if you just transfer smoke, it's gonna smoke. Yeah, no, I get it, I get it. Like, just for the record. And it probably can't be hanging out like it, that. It's okay. That's okay? It's okay. Well, we need really? I mean, I'll accept the challenge. Okay, all right, so now. You see all the smoke you brought to my pit? <laughs> it's about to go away. No way. I would say within 10 minutes. This is not sponsored by any means. Like, Dean just happened to have one. No, it's not sponsored because you didn't pay for it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. But I also didn't want the room. I didn't want to allocate yeah. any room to the back of the truck for this. And but I also, but no one ever told me it doesn't smoke. Because Trish doesn't really like the smoke. And that's the downside of the, of the fire ring is that you have the campfire, but when you go in, you yep. bring the campfire it back into the rig. Can you use this? Absolutely. Okay, good. So, all right, so hold on. So here, we got a little kindling. Yep. I'll put that in here like that. I'll put a little of this on there. Just a little. Just a little. And then hold on, I got more. Ooh. Look at that. Just because no I, smoke. I wanna hook I wanna hook you up. I wanna give you all the tools you can. I'm gonna put one of these down there. And I'll like that. There we go. Purely for me and maybe a little for Mark. And then we got a log already here, right? And you don't think the log hanging out's a problem? No, we've, we've done that before. Cool. Just let it all hang out. Around, I'll put that there for a little. So you're saying this is engineered to like what? Catch? Yeah, so, so it's got these holes here in the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then, it's probably not bad enough yet. But see these holes up here at top as well? Yeah, yeah. And so what that allows for is that it recycles, it pulls the smoke back down and burns it twice. Some people and so, it, it burns that smoke off. I'm liking this. So once it kind of gets to a heat, 
We may have to do a time lapse of some sort. <laughs> but the smoke will go away. Dude, yeah, I would say. <laughs> yeah. I would say based upon this angle right here, it's working better than our fire. Of course, we did take the best logs out of out of my fire. It looks pretty exciting to me. I mean, I'm still skeptical, but I think uh, we gotta keep our eye on this. I know. Well, listen. Look, I can see the smoke coming out of the regular one, and I can't see the smoke other than at the very top of this one. I and see sad Trish <laughs> and <laughs> happy Trish. <laughs> <laughs> I see your future vehicle that you're wanting to get. What's it called again? Um, the Bronco? I see no Bronco. <laughs> Bronco. <laughs> it's an investment. Okay, so let's have some potatoes and some Ooh, stuff. And potatoes. look, not everything turns out perfect. Mm -hmm. Look, we got, I tried to make some baba ganoush. Normally you put these like in the oven and they kind of hold all of their juices and then you can put it in the blender, put in a little tahini, the whole mm -hmm. thing. Anyway, didn't work out. <laughs> but um, I'm actually enjoying the charred bits on top. I don't know if anybody's with me out there. But Trish, those eat. are carcinogens. You shouldn't be eating those. That's so good. <laughs> so you're saying <laughs> no. that your solo stove has a slower burn. It, it does seem like that. It appears so. It appears so. This has not been field tested by the Miles family. It seems to, 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 to burn slower. The, the flames seem to be burning slower, they moving slower. Like they move slower, they do. They, it's like, they, it's, they it's mesmerizing a little bit. So I don't know why that is or how that does that, but I ended up using less wood, there's less smoke, and it's as hot. So I'm looking for the ambiance. Yeah. That's my what I'm looking for. My wife wants the warmth, because she's always cold, and neither one of us smell like smoke, so there's a good chance. Well, smoke. and that is, and you were saying earlier, before I turned on the camera, that that is kind of the full-timer's dilemma. If you're out for a three-day weekend and you're having a great time, it really doesn't matter. You're gonna go out, you're having a great time. This, yes. For, quite frankly, your your clothes smell like smoke is awesome. That's they, the trophy. That is the trophy. Right. But when you're full time, you now have to go to a laundry mat. You right. put your you put your flannel back on in your your tiny closet. Yes. And now all the rest of your clothes smell like smoke. Yeah. And and you do that for a few months and you're like, all right, no more fires. Right. And my wife isn't happy. And so it was worth the investment. I mean, it was pricey, but I haven't found anything else that has made the claim of being smokeless. And here it is. I never knew that the claim was made in the first place. <laughs> is um is Charlie coming today? Oh yes. He's coming today. I, Charlie, I don't know you're how coming. Long we'll be gone, so. You're coming today, Charlie. Charlie. Charlie, you wanna come? You wanna come? You wanna go for a ride? Yay! Good job, Charlie! You can drive today? Good job, Charlie! Yes. We have to make sure the videographer can video. I'm uh, but before we get going, we've got trash as you can see on the back of our truck bed and you know most smart responsible older wise are beers they put oh, there's our box oh yeah we'll have to go pick that up they put trash in the front so you don't forget we've been putting it on the back or i've been putting it on the back and then we've been driving right by the trash thing to leave Okay, this place is called Half Baked Fully Brewed. Okay. And it's, sorry, I have something on my hat. Charlie, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, um, and so they have like gluten-free breakfast sandwiches. I got mm -hmm. you one. I also got you this. Thank you. And I have two coffees for us coming. Okay, Some nice. sparkling water. What town is this? I don't know, but we're in New Hampshire. We're on our way to this beautiful highway pass that mm -hmm. we get to record. And then down there is the Loom Mountain. And so you can take a gondola up and just look, or you can hike up and hike down. Is that so what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna hike, hike. To the top? And then on our way home, we're gonna go to the Flume Gorge. Okay. So we have lots of just like taking in the beautiful scenery. I can totally see why number one, people love camping in the fall, and number two, people do the fall run for the colors. <laughs> totally. It's so much fun. Oh yeah. So anyway, um, I'm probably the most overdressed person here as oh, far yeah. as being warm. Oh yeah. Because everyone's a local. And um, to me, this is cold. Yeah. Hey Caleb, are you ready to go on this drive? We're gonna hit the Kanglemanus Pass. Oh, the Kanglemanus Pass? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what we're gonna do. Well, you should have told me that, Dad. I know. And that's exactly how you pronounce it, by the way. Oh, 
my favorite part of all of this so far is seeing how many people have gotten their hands on a convertible. And if they don't have a convertible, their sunroofs are open, there's a smile on their face, and there are license plates from like every surrounding state. It's really cool. <laughs> there are so many great things to do here in New Hampshire. I feel like we're kind of taking the exercise route. We're doing lots of hikes because we want to see as many trees as possible. But you could go and do the gondola up at Loon. Yeah. You can hike underneath it and hike back down. You can go to Mount Washington. There's also a train called, I forgot. <laughs> and, um,. <laughs> And you could go do that. So there's lots of things you can do. There's lots of ways, no matter what your athletic ability or how little you are, <laughs> there's cool things to do to just get outside, breathe this air and be part of New Hampshire. But this is our last day and then we're headed to Vermont. raced me up here to stay with in track with Caleb. <laughs> He's watching him the whole time. It's really funny. You can't even see like the actual rock. You can just, it looks like coral almost. It's so pretty. Squishy, squishy. <laughs> We have a map of all the things we can't show you. <laughs> but we're on Route 3. There's the Flume Gorge, but there are two covered bridges. What I love about all the drives around here, not only are the trees changing and everything is gorgeous, but there's little pieces of history along the way. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a treasure hunt. Yeah. So anyway, that's totally what a mom would tell you <laughs> if you're trapped in a car for two hours taking windy roads on a drive. No, it's, it's a like treasure a hunt. treasure hunt. This is so fun. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but there's like co covered bridges and overview, the basin, but I guess you need to call in advance and get yourself some tickets because of COVID. So anyway, and there's limited people that are allowed to go through and walk. And it, we're an hour the before path. they close and it is all buttoned up. Locked up. Yeah. So anyway, we won't be able to show you that, but. Now look, to be, to be clear, it looks, stunning and it looks heavily trafficked trafficked did i can never say that word trafficked did did so i think that's important to know like what we yes. did was peaceful and we got in a workout and it was awesome and i mm -hmm. loved it and this was probably spectacular and highly manufactured yes but it has rv parking it has trailer parking exactly. and it's beautiful and the yes. and the and the grounds are i would have loved to have seen it it would have been nice yes so anyway, it requires planning and like advanced <laughs> and notice. And we're out. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey. Look at this. Long time no see. <laughs> How are the ribs coming? We are four hours into a five hour smoke. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Ooh. Wow. Um, I found hot house tomatoes. So yes. I'm going to make like a basil tomato mozzarella salad. Yum. Caprese. Yum. Okay. Deal. All and right. I've got some chicken. <laughs> Perfect.
Charlie. Oh, that's a good job. Oh, Charlie wins. Charlie, you're a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, drop. Ah, good boy. Uh, he, he, oh, he Are you playing on. pickle with Charlie? Yeah, and Charlie, in the middle. without any instruction, pretty much knows the rules. He knows how pickle he, works. And he's <laughs> he really just jumped up. Like I, you, I threw it. He just jumped. Oh. Woo! We wow. So we're five hours in. Now we're just gonna firm it up. Man, those look good. Trish, why are we making chicken? I know. For the, for the boys. For the boys. Well, because Caleb eats two dinners. Okay. So he'll demolish all of your food if you let him. Right. So we'll portion control him. Right. And then I'll give him some chicken to fill him up. So last night, after we ate all that food, yeah. Reed then came back and made a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> They're at that age where they get the sixth meal. Yeah, it's no like, kidding. What a new world. All right, so interesting. So you just put that up on the table because it's a tailgater? It's a tailgater. Um, it's got legs, so when you undo these things, so if I didn't have a picnic table, sure, those would just drop down. Gotcha. And so it's really, really convenient, and so it fits great in the glass doors bay there. Yeah. Has a dedicated spot. Um, but there's just those days where you want to do the long smoke. Yeah. What are you doing? Hi, I'm figuring out what we have to do for Route 100. You already figured that out. Well, yes, but I'm trying to get more information on covered bridges. Oh, like, are we going to lose our air conditioning units if we do this? <laughs> exactly. So it says that they're protected. So to me, that sounds like they're off to the side. Like they're old and protected. You look at them. You don't go through them. Trish, this is like Days of Thunder. <laughs> you just... Use gas, no break. Gas. gas. That's it. how you get. That's how you get through this. Okay, good. <laughs> Protected no longer. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I'm doing. There's this app, and it's super cool. It's like called Gypsy Guide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gypsy Guide, mm -hmm. and it gives you tours of all different kinds of places. So Vermont was on the list of them. They do okay. mostly like national parks and things. Um, okay, a couple questions here. Yeah. You know, we have a very observant community. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you going plant based here? No. Okay, you're just doing some reading. Well, I wanted some good recipes, but I'm not going all in. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, there's some stories in there that would uh, encourage someone to go all in on a plant-based diet. Amazing stories. Amazing stories. Okay, that was the first thing. Second mm -hmm. thing, how come my side of the bed is clean and your side of the bed is all messy? Well, I do have a pair of jeans and a pair of socks. No, that's my side. <laughs> this is my side. No, that's my side. No, this is my side. <laughs> your side, if you notice, I want everyone to notice here. I was supposed to check it. <laughs> this is what he does every day. He takes every single thing out and dumps it out to find his office. This is actually really nice. Yeah, today's, Normally, today was every a bin is upside down. High efficiency today. And then he scoops it all up and he shoves it in each bin and then throws the bins up there. They're more to capture the pile instead of organize the stack. You know, you better be careful or, or the community is going to figure out that you're an exaggerator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and in other news... Dean, who helps us with KYD tech stuff, he has created, because a lot of people have write in and they say, hey, you guys should come to here and we've already been there. You should go here. And then other people are like, hey, where, I know you were in that video where you're here, but I, I can't find that video. So we've created, Dean has created, a map, and this is just kind of, we're just testing it out, where you can just like click on the map and when you click on that, the video comes up with the description down below. Look, it automatically starts playing. So if you want to find a video of a certain place you're going, you can find the video by clicking that. Look at that. Main. Wow. So I will provide that link right here. Probably be something like keeperdaydream.com forward slash map. That sounds pretty good. If that's uh, if that's not if I haven't already used that for something else, then that's what I'll use. And then uh, you can kind of figure that out. Okay, that's it. I gotta go. Trish is making me.
cold Or a snowy mountain road To be in paradise Don't need diamonds or gold All the pictures we've been sold Paradise It's a simple state of mind It's the people by your side But only you can find Good news. We just started to find some trees that are still green with a little bit of color at the edges. We have successfully chased fall. We're gonna find you the best colors. Quiet 